Welcome back to A20 Special Relativity. So in our quest to understand how we get to general relativity, there's two things to consider. The first one, this lecture is not meant to give you a full description of general relativity, but just a view into where this might lead, where this discussion might lead. So in this quest, um, we can understand the theory of general relativity as a theory on how to patch together the different reference frames, which are each uh, can be described in special relativity. So in the framework we discussed up to now and is valid in short intervals in space time. Consequence of general relativity are that space time is curved. So we have modified geometries. Um, and we learn that because of gravitational effects, matter curves space time. As a consequence of that, you know, there must be modification of, of, of gravity based on matter distributions. And so there must also be gravitational waves, gravitational lenses, which bend light, black holes, and there's cosmological predictions coming out of general relativity. So let's have a discussion first. What does it mean to have a changed or modified geometry? What could that mean? So you're all used to Euclidean geometry, where when you draw a triangle, you add up all the angles to 180 degrees. If you draw two parallel lines, they never cross. They also don't diverge. But if you have a modified geometry, for example, the geometry on a sphere, like on our globe, the angles do not add up to 180 degrees. They actually, the sum is larger than 180 degrees and parallel lines will cross. We will call this kind of space positively curved. But you can have the opposite example, like on a saddle. Um, so you can have other spaces and other curved spaces, and they can be negatively curved. In this example, if you add up all angles, you find they add up to less than 180 degrees. Parallel lines will not cross, but they will diverge. Okay, so mass has changed the geometry of space time. You know, we just talked about light bending. And because of the change in geometry, light will not go on a straight light anymore, but will bend around massive object. Space time is curved. Geometry of space time tells us how the masses move. You can think about um, a trampoline. When you put a heavy object on a trampoline, all the other objects on the trampoline will gravitate towards the heavier object. And that's kind of a, a picture on how spacecraft, uh, space time actually looks like. Einstein used those findings in order to redefine Newton's first law and found the so-called Einstein field equation. So there's on one side of the equation, there's a description of space time and its curvature. And on the other side of the equation is the energy momentum, momentum tensor the description and how ener energy and momentum of object is distributed. And those two things, space, time and energy and momentum, they're kind of interlinked in this, inter in this equation. So if you read this description, we can read it from one side to the next. Space, time tells matter how to move, or you read it from the other direction, say matter tells space, crime, space time how to curve. So there is an equation and you can just read it from the left to the right or from the right to the left. So our understanding here, it says space and time are not fixed things. You know, matter through which matter and energy moves through. The matter and energy themselves define space time. And matter, because of that, time sp space time is dynamical. It's changing. It's interacting with the matter and with the energy. So this is a super exciting picture from Hubble, from the Hubble Space Telescope. And you see galaxies, um, but what you also see is those structures which looked like something the light has gone through lenses. Those lenses are actually matter distributions, galaxies themselves, which actually lead to the bending of the light and those lensing effects. Okay, if you want to summarize um, general relativity you can first say that space-time is curved and it follows the pseudo-Ramanian manifold with a specific metric. So we have seen the metric before is minus plus plus plus. And the relationship between matter and curvature is given by the Einstein equation and here I give you a slightly different form 
where there is the dynamics again on one side and the energy momentum on the other side. Let's just look at one example here. So we discussed in special relativity invariant intervals, right? And we had this delta s squared, or we had different name for it, i given by minus dt square plus dx square plus dy square plus dz square. And we could have just written this in polar coordinates as well, where you find a dr square and r square d theta square and an r square sine square theta d phi square. Okay, same thing, it's just a different coordinate system. So as a solution to Einstein equation, we find something which looks very, very similar. That's not a surprise as we find general relativity as a patchwork of small spaces of general uh, special relativity. So the solutions might be very similar, right? And the solution found here by Schwarzschild, so-called Schwarzschild solution, which are unique solution in vacuum with spherical symmetry of a matter distribution. So you have a spherical meta distribution like our sun, right? And this is a solution which describes um, space time around this. You find this invariant interval here has two in interesting features. There's two singularities in here. So you find, this should be a minus one. You find those two singularities. One is at r equals zero. That's kind of expected in the middle of the mass distribution. This thing is not defined anymore. There's no mass left. Um, but there's also a second singularity at 2gm. This is called the so-called Schwarzschild radius. And it defines, <clears throat> if you get to this singularity, <clears throat> you basically don't define anymore this invariant interval. You can think about a black hole, the, the surface of a black hole as this singularity at this R values, at those singularities, uh, everything becomes time-like, time -like, or everything within the radius becomes time-like. 